everyone, this is Danish from jobskillshare.org. This vlog is kind of part two from my video that I created just a day, two days ago. Uh, it's called Promoted to System Administrator. Now, if you're confused about this video, please watch that video. You will, it will be clear to you then. So in this video, the first video, I explain how, uh, you know, how did I get the promotion and uh, what interview questions were there and stuff like that. Now in this video, um, we started, you know, so uh, projects are coming in and what kind of projects am I going to be working on? First of all, what will be my goals? So then uh, I'm going to discuss that to you guys in this video and then uh, uh, the learning part where you guys are going to learn something in uh, the uh, help desk to uh, transition from help desk to system admin course so it's kind of like a vlog but at the same point I'm uh, giving information out for the course so goals goals basically you know after when you get promoted you will sit down with your manager or your team uh, if you have a big com not big company I mean even a small company if they have some kind of like you know a manager and system admin kind of positions in there so you will sit in there and uh, they will give you hey this is your promotion uh, but uh, or your new job and this is your yearly goals and you need to uh, achieve these goals to kind of continue your work right that's how people get graded and that's how people get raised or uh, you know make sure that they are working um, uh, what they're supposed to so the goals in this was like you know same thing uh, they're it's divided by you know percentage it's up to the company how they divide these things but they will give you like some kind of percentage like you know 20 percent for learning something new 20 percent for uh for you know managing what's existing systems 20 percent for uh you know researching 20 percent for this for that so my goal i mean it's kind of like the same customer service in there i mean uh customer services and like you know make sure you're still keeping that uh, you know working with the users kind of like that not at the help desk level, but um, Yeah, you do have to do customer service, but it's more focused towards servers now servers uh, you know and uh, SQL stuff uh, Like a database is I explained that in the last video and the virtualization and in this you I was also given some projects for example um, You know we are going to create the SCCM from scratch now. We already have one. We are not updating it now, I will go in detail later on why not, why didn't we go for update, upgrade, uh, we just, we're just going for scratch, which is actually really good for you guys, because if we're doing from scratch every single thing, then you will learn the whole SCCM getting built up for, from scratch for about 300 computers and uh, the whole systems, so SCCM is, is really good stuff, I mean, if you know this, if you have the skill, if you have, if you can put this on your resume that you know SCCM, uh, like you know how to build the whole system, then that is a really good plus sign, plus point for anyone that's taking these courses. And I will make a separate short course on SCCM. I cannot integrate that with the software deployment course that we have because it's a big thing you know SCCM is big so we need a separate course for that we so when I start this project first I'm gonna explain how did we start this project what's the history behind it what kind of system we are going to be using what are the requirements what are the research time the amount of time I spent on this that's the whole part of the reality you know that's what I represent in these courses and videos that it's not just you know it's not just you downloading things and doing things it's the other part also the research the time the requirement the, the searching part you know and then working with team you know I'm not doing this alone so there could be pieces that other team members are going to be doing so I'm going to be trying my best to kind of grab those uh, you know say what did they do so then it kind of completes the picture for you guys so that's that's one of the biggest projects for me right now at this point SCCM and then other things that I discussed uh, in my meeting is that uh, you know in training I need SQL stuff like you know I'm not good with SQL stuff so I need training simple as that you know that's kind of like if you move up to some other position and you're uh, it's been a long time that you haven't touched some technology it changed you know I could be really good in something for a few years but if I don't do that regularly and I don't touch it I don't work on it I don't troubleshoot it I will forget I'm a human being I will forget it trust me I don't I mean it doesn't matter how good you are in a system but you will forget it now of course I'm gonna get it quicker than a person who have very limited experience with you know like IT but 
same thing you know you just uh, you have to keep doing uh, what uh, what's related to your job so that's kind of how things work in this uh, you know career so uh, that was the update um, I know the SCCM part is extremely important for you guys if you want if you guys want to learn something really cool that SCCM is going to be one thing that uh, I'm excited about and I think a lot of people ask me this in my YouTube videos and other videos that uh, do we have a course related to SCCM so uh, that is going to be the new thing. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in a different vlog.